Hey survivors and welcome back in another episode of our Sons of the Forest series. Uh, in the previous episode, uh, as you may remember, we found Bunker B and Bunker C, and so we got both the compound bow that you can find right here, and also the revolver. Now we're getting closer and closer to the ending of Sons of the Forest of this series, and we only have 10 more episodes to go. Today we're going to get the forge, because uh, we're gonna need all our power. We're gonna need to be the most powerful beings in this island to make it right, to finish properly this game. I heard there is a cannibal. Probably here there is a camp, that's pro- yeah. Well, only because I want this episode to be as long as all the others. We're going, we're coming here. Oh, come on. Oh, I've been waiting for this for a long time. Oh, that was so long. Come in here. Igor? Igor? Stay fucking down! What is that? These are golf balls? What? That's the first. Oh god, that this is this is amazing. Golf clubs. Oh wait. Oh hell no. Wait, you're really telling me that all those notes about the golf the, the golf clubs here exactly from here. After searching the entire facility, despite having much more important tasks to. To be focused on, we have managed to locate the golf clubs. Unfortunately, the golf balls still elude us. That's because they lost all the golf clubs and all the golf balls. And now I do understand why. The cannibals got them. So cannibals were already on the island. They were on the island, that's why. And all these golf balls were, were taken by the cannibals while Hollow Spring was being built. This changes almost everything. Incredible how this game, even though I studied it so much, I can now understand. I can now understand this other mystery. This is why they wrote so many emails about it, why they decided to spend so much time. They wanted to show this, so cannibals were already on the island when Pathcorp arrived here. Oh god. That's incredible that's incredible i believe i i i knew already everything of this game but uh, i was completely wrong and here there should be yeah we arrived I don't remember if there is any mutant cannibal, I don't think so. From what I remember, it should be completely safe. I remember that this was one of the best looking, yeah, caves that we have ever had the opportunity to have in this game. Oh, I forgot about it. God, look how beautiful this is. And here we should go deep down. Okay. Here there should be nothing, but there are many other skeletons. Let's see, I don't- I truly don't- oh yeah, now I do remember. Um, 
Let's go first here. Okay. Oh, an Eru. We got it. The Forge. Yeah, that is so expensive. Before we come back at home, we should get two more turtle shells. Um, I don't think it is so comfortable to walk with the, the wetsuit on. And I remember that here there is a shortcut. And here there should be the other artifact, right? See, there is no one. Oh god, this was so beautiful. God, that's so creepy. I love every second of being in this cave. That's so good, so good, so creepy. That's what I want for the full release of Sons of the Forest. And here is the other artifact. Now, where the hell I need to go? I never stopped looking at pets. It is something that I usually don't don't don't, don't focus on. But they're beautiful. Why are not so many bats in all the caves? They create a little bit more of life to the entire building, to the entire structure. Oh, this is closed. I guess that we gotta go deep down again. And here we go, guys. That was so easy. And we got also the pickaxe. Yeah, definitely the end. Well, it was quite easy. I gotta say, quite easy. Oh, and we also got the pickaxe. We got almost everything, actually. Now, there is Virginia that is... Heal. Oh god, is she still looking after me? Oh well, I forgot that here there, there is also <laughs> uh, the fishing heads. Well, I guess that we can immediately start the new episode. Where we're going to get all the other blueprints. There is also the Salafite. I don't actually remember where, where they are. Um, I would like to explain to you why there are so many fishing hats. This is how they're called. There it is. Oh, the, the new trap, yeah. So, from what we know, this is actually the huts that were built way before us, way before Pathcorp. These were built by a fisherman community back in 1979. And... They were the first to actually get here, to get on the island. And they found something, something that we cannot explain yet, because we don't have a specific um, piece of paper that we're going to find probably in the next episode, or I don't know, maybe also today, I don't know, it, it will be quite a very long journey to get also that piece of paper. But I can assure you guys that the story of this game is incredible. Just keep in mind that this was all built in 1979. This should be the same... <gasps> oh god! Goodness! That was fucking scary! Another one? Oh, stay chill, stay down, stay chill, stay down. Two. Oh, real, this still is the best way to kill. 
Wait, they got that. Oh god. This is probably the, the only the only cannibal that I truly don't know how to de defeat prop. Wait a second, we're trying we're finding many things. This is this is another abandoned cannibal camp. Definitely. Even though the I don't know. I mean the structure is very similar to those used by the fishermen. What if all these camps are not done by cannibals, but by fishermen? And then cannibals take took over them? Oh god, now I am having so many theories. This also was something great that was linked to the fishermen. I remember that here, yeah, there, there was a sort of grave. Yeah, oh my goodness. All the story behind the fisherman amazes me so much. Well, at this point... Yeah, I remembered it correctly. And here, yeah, I remember it. There is also a cave. Well, at this point, let's not waste more time. It's always so difficult to... Okay, now I can see it. We found it and broke it into six parts. I've killed the others. Yeah, there are so many secrets here. Like, for example, who are the others? Why you should have killed the others, the other fishermen? Maybe the corrupted fishermen? I, I don't know. Imagine like that. Imagine like that. All these fishermen arrived here on the island, forced by the same vision that cultists had. Because we found the same painting I'm gonna show you. We found the same painting both in one of these caves, one of the fishermen caves, but also in the yachts. The yachts that were used by the cultists to arrive here. This is exactly the same exit drawing. And what does it mean? That probably they both knew. They both were forced by those visions to get the artifact that we saw, that we're trying to build and that we're not going to build in this series. But why you should have killed the others? Why? Oh god. And why you should have killed the others? Why a fisherman should have killed the others? Because some of them were so subjected to the visions that started to worship it. What does it mean, guys? That probably part of the fishermen was corrupted. And so, the only few fishermen that understood what was the problem, that understood that their friends were completely corrupted by the artifacts that probably oh, they were looking for and that they found, they decided to split it into six parts and to completely completely hide it from all those fishermen that were corrupted. And so they had to kill each other. All the corrupted fishermen. Those friends that were corrupted by the visions. The death machine. What I'm trying to tell you guys is that the fishermen were split into two groups. The group that believed to the visions, the group that decided to stay with the visions and that said, Oh God, they're going to give us freedom. They're going to free us from everything, from every evil thing that happened to us. But the one thing is that some fishermen understood what was going on. And for this reason, they decided to resist to the visions, to split the, that, that artifact into pieces and to hide it. But there still is one question. How the hell can I go away from here?
Oh, I didn't remember that I was spawning here. Uh, we should now go to another fishing hut. And to do that, we're gonna need the golf cart. So it's gonna take a while to go there, but nothing that we cannot manage. Yeah, the early pub. And here there should be exactly another piece of paper. Conspiracy Daily. Where are our husbands, heartbroken wives, speak out on the silence surrounding their loved ones' disappearance? Hello there! <laughs> Oh no, 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 come on! That was perfect! What the hell? Oh, that was so polish. Come here, come here, this time I'm the one running. <laughs> oh, 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 goodness! <laughs> that is so funny. Come in here. Come in here. Welcome, buddy. Oh, no. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> You want to scare me? Here we go! <laughs> oh god, I, I think that they're feeling extremely bad now. Come here! <laughs> but we arrived in a way or another. Yeah. Come on. Tuesday. Today is October 18th, 1997. Repeat it for uh, 100 times. Oh, one other? Oh yeah, the gory chair. Really nothing that was so relevant. And also, yeah, the spotlight. Well guys, I think that's everything for today, I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like and consider subscribing, follow me on all the social media, especially on our Reddit community and Discord server, on Instagram and Facebook, and always remember guys, to survive the forest. I don't know what's going to happen in the next episode, we're yet not going into Bunker Residential, so let's see you tomorrow, where I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna do that. Goodbye.